he's a professional but he's a professional crook and I want to hurry up and catch him and when he do stick it to him the problem solvers spent six weeks tracking down this guy oh hell yeah that's him right there he scammed a lot of people oh that's definitely him yeah He's one of the most despicable con men I've ever encountered. Yeah, that's him. No doubt. Then no doubt, it's him. Thing is, if you ever ran into this guy, you'd probably like him and trust him. What made you believe the guy? Him. He made me believe in him. He's very convincing, always dressed to kill. And he's smooth. Who is he? He says his name is Anthony McKinney, attorney at law. And he sounds like he is, sure enough, an attorney. He's got business cards, a toll-free number, and fancy stationery. Problem is... He, he's not real. That's right. This guy who has taken thousands of dollars from good, hard-working people just like you is a fake. Watch what happens when I run his name on the State Bar website. The bar number he's using belongs to an attorney in Petoskey. But wait a minute. The guy claims he has an office. This building in Dearborn, Suite 310. Oh, yeah? Watch what happens when we stroll in with our undercover camera. I'm looking for Anthony McKinney. Oh, jeez, another one. <laughs> You're going to have to go across the street to the police station. It's a real attorney's office, all right, but it's not McKinney's. So he's never even worked here? No. You guys have, have no never third, even seen him? No, we have no third floor. It's Suite 310. A lot of people want a piece of this guy, including Nellie Bolton. She paid McKinney to help her get custody of her emotionally troubled son. McKinney took the cash and did nothing. I watch you all the time, and, and when I see you, I said, go get him. And you usually get him, too. So you get him. Yeah. <laughs> oh, I'll get him, all right. And this time, there's a twist. Guess who's coming along for the ride? You'll see the fireworks in a minute. Right now, let me tell you how I got onto this case and what makes this guy so vile. It started with a phone call from this Fox 2 viewer. Doris Fields hired McKinney to fight for her son's inheritance. He needs the money for college. She paid McKinney 750 bucks. He booked with the cash. Her son lost his inheritance. Just left me out here hanging. And I'm still hanging. Then I found out there were all kinds of victims. Anthony McKinney would cruise shopping malls schmoozing people, handing out business cards, making promises he never intended to keep. All these people gave him money for nothing. Did he help you on the tickets? No, nah, he never did nothing. I just want him behind bars. That's it. Nothing else. Did he do any work for you? No, he didn't do nothing. Just disappeared? Just disappeared. I wouldn't do my enemy like that. And I, I really thought you were my friend. And that's what makes this guy so slimy. He sought out people who needed help and played on their emotions. The way you dress and look yourself over, it's no wonder you would ponder that image of your preening self in the mirror. He called Nellie Bolton his adopted mom, and she treated him like a son. He brought flowers to the widow at this house, then burned her for 2,300 bucks. McKinney even went around telling his victims he had cancer to get their sympathy. Problem is, he told one of them it was colon cancer, another it was leukemia. I was obsessed with finding this snake, and I'll tell you, it wasn't easy. Nobody got a license plate, nobody knew his real address. I'm not even sure Anthony McKinney is his real name. The break came when I tracked McKinney through his cell phone to this house in Detroit. We followed him, got a picture, and showed it to the victims. Once I was sure he was the right guy, it was time for the showdown. Ready or not, here I come. <laughs> it's time I settle the score. Hey, Mr. McKinney. <laughs> you know who I am? Yes, I do. Scott, Scott Lewis from Hi, Fox Scott. 2. Pleasure's mine. A lot of people are calling me and telling me that you're taking money for legal services and yes. not doing the work. Well, I'm doing great work, sir. You are? Yes. And you are an attorney? Yes, Scott. Where did Can you, you go give to me just a moment, Scott? Okay, get my car here. No, no, I want to ask you some questions. Why are you doing this to these people? I'm not. I'm taking care of business. No, you're not. You're not even an attorney. Scott, I'll talk to you. You know, later. could you hang on one second? No, I got I someone I'd like you to meet. Watch Scott, out. Be will you watch out behind you, please? Watch out behind you. You know this lady? I'm Anthony. Yes. How are you, dear? I'm looking for you. How are you? Why are you having come and call me and come back to see about me? I'll call you back. Dear. I'll call you this evening. That's promised. You sure? Yes, ma'am. Because I've been trying my best to catch up with you.
Okay. Yeah. Why did you do this to this woman? You took sixteen hundred dollars of her money. You're not even an attorney. I'm going to pay her. We're going to take care of you. Why are you pretending to be an attorney? I will take care of you. I promise. You know, we're going to take care of you because we're going to the police and you're going to be in handcuffs. All right, Scott. I like your program too. I'm sorry, sir.